Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy day of rest for everybody. It is early Sunday, Saturday morning. I still have all my pajamas, but I wanted to come on here and just give a quick word of encouragement at the leading of the Lord and his spirit. Um, the Lord gave this to me and then he gave me the discernment to get on here and to share it. So if you're watching this video, it's probably because the Lord wanted to encourage you this morning. And the word that the Lord gave me um, um, as I was praying and um, just praying over myself this morning and my circumstance um, sometimes we're in a, a season where nothing about our circumstances looks like what we desire our life to be. I mean, nothing. Have you ever been in a season where nothing adds up? The, the job that you have, um, <clears throat> maybe your family situation, maybe the state of your marriage, maybe the state of your health, finances, Nothing looks like what you are believing God for or what you desire your life to be. And <clears throat> I must admit that I am in one of those seasons right now. Nothing adds up. Um, and it can be painful. It can be hurtful. And it can really put you um, out of sorts, if I could say. Um, but we have to guard our heart because people of faith, God says that we walk by faith and not by sight. That's why he says that because God knew that there was going to be some times and seasons where nothing adds up, nothing looks right. And if you continue to see it with your natural eyes, you will get consumed and depression and sadness and all of these things can come in. But that's why God gave us the Holy Spirit in order to awaken our spirit so that when we're in these situations, we can see it with a different set of eyes. As Christians, yes, we have two sets of eyes and two sets of ears. And everybody actually does. Um, that's the difference between the, those who are spiritually alive and those alive in Christ and those who are spiritually dead. They have a spirit, but their spirit is not awakened because, because Christ is not in it. And um, it's being filled with other counterfeit spirits. And But we have the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit that lives in us. And it opens our eyes. It gives us this superpower where we can see and hear things, um, even though it doesn't look like it in the natural. So the word that the Lord, as I was praying, that he gave me, and um, he led me to write it on my refrigerator so that I could see it um, in the times of testing, was uncommon faith, uncommon faith for uncommon favor. And the uncommon faith is just looking at your circumstances and looking at and seeing how nothing adds up. But in order for me and you to come into that place of victory, when we come through these trials and these wilderness seasons are in these testings, and sometimes it can last for two or three years, God is always trying to show us something about ourselves and mature us and refine us. But God is saying, if you can have uncommon faith today, uncommon means nothing in the way that I feel based on my circumstances makes me want to be joyful today. But if I could just walk in joy and have this uncommon faith that, you know what, Lord, you might turn this around today. It is terrible, but you may turn it around today. That's uncommon faith. And that's what the Lord gave me today in my circumstances uncommon faith for uncommon favor. And what God is saying is when you come into agreement with this word and you step into the uncommon faith, and I'm telling you, I had to sit here and stir myself up and, and like walk in circles and just decree joy. And I had to put a smile on my face when everything inside of my natural body is, is not feeling like smiling. I'm just going to say it. And some of you may be there. You don't feel like smiling, but I just did it in obedience and God says obedience is better than sacrifice. And the moment that I did it in obedience, God released something where he allowed my, my body, the way I feel in my emotions to add up with the obedience of what I did. I didn't even feel it. But then once I did it, he released it. He broke off like this heaviness and, and down spirit that I had this morning. So God is saying uncommon faith 
is going to get you to the uncommon favor. And the uncommon favor is going to be the answer to the prayers that you are um, asking God for. Now, here's the caveat. Obedience you can't just decree it. This is not the, the whole days of name it and claim it. That was that was good. That was a principle. That was a that was a faith move of faith. But at the same time, God's saying, I have principles. If you want better finances, you gotta adhere to my my uh principles regarding your finances. Are you do you have no self-control over your spending? Maybe you need to fast from spending for 30 days. I do that sometimes. I don't spend money on myself for 30 days except for my needs, groceries, gas, just to have the discipline to say no. Maybe you need to fast over your finances. If you're believing God for the uncommon favor over your health, then you need to look at your diet. God is a God of principles and a God of truth. We can't walk in the favor and speak his word when we violate his principles and obedience. And if you need help with it, Lord, you know what? You're right. I, I'm praying over this diabetes but uh, or this high blood pressure, but I eat a ton of salt and I eat a ton of sugar. Help me. God says I will help you, but he wants you to be honest in where you are. And if you walk in his principles and his truths, then the uncommon favor can happen. So God requires something of us. He just doesn't drop it on us unless we need a miracle. And God is the God of miracles. But a lot of you, you have the strength. You can do it. You just, you haven't been matured and disciplined. And God needs that to come forth out of you. Discipline over your mouth. Maybe you're continuing to speak the wrong things. Discipline over some of those things that God has called you from. From your friends, you know, from social media. The Holy Spirit's been nudging you to do some things. The nudging you to go ahead and call that real estate agent and buy a house because that rent is eating you up. And you are in a cycle, but you just hadn't had the confidence to do it. God said, just be obedient. Listen to my spirit and do it. I'm going to meet you when you have the uncommon faith and the obedience of what I ask you to do. I'm going to meet you with uncommon favor. So I'm going to leave that on you. I took that word. I took God at his word today. And I am believing that he's going to do something for me today. He's already blessed me with changing my countenance today. And so, and then the Lord had me to come and share it with you. So there's somebody on here or two or three people that the Lord wants to bless with this word. So I hope that it, and pray that it reaches you in faith. And I decree and declare that over you, that when you step into a place of uncommon faith, that God is going to release and obedience, that God is going to release uncommon favor in your life. God bless you.